Hey everybody, what's going on? Clay with Eaglewood here again. I got some new stuff I'm going to bring to you. I'm going to walk you through the studio first real quick. Uh, show you the... Uh, I had the grand opening. It was great. Uh, brought my chair in there. This is the display. This is the front lobby as you guys have seen. I got all my stuff hanging up in here. Um, so, you know, obviously the hammers, you guys have seen those. The hammer of Sigmar, such, such, such. Okay, you guys have seen all those, all right? Um, so, what I'm working on now is, uh, there's the metal one, there's the full metal one. You guys have seen that one too. Um, obviously Thor hammers. Uh, this is one of the Necro daggers. Um, my... Uh, vacuum chamber kind of went on the shit so I gotta do something but we should be okay this is the mold for the dreads obviously I got the long one and like six other ones in there so that's uh, the first half of it so I got that going um, then another one that I'm working on here and you guys have seen this is the berserker katana alright what I've done is I took like I said an old katana sword that I had and I modified the blade did everything to it there um, so and then I did this handle for it which I got to work on the teeth here yet that's got to get done I did this handle and I got it all mounted in there so it's all mounted and I'm doing some sculpting on it here and so this is the berserker katana that I'm working on this is going to be a wicked ass piece and it's going to be really cool another variation that I'm doing on this one is going to be with um, this blade so what I'm going to do is I'll have this here but instead of that blade I'm going to have this blade on it there so it'll be kind of like that so it's going to be a little different you know but anyway this is this is a full metal one. This is the only one of these that I've got. I'm actually starting to work on the hilt or the sheath on it right now. Um, uh, here's my uh, this is my man cave office. Uh, got this stuff up here. Uh, my little microwave, all the important stuff. Uh, Constantine poster. Uh, those feet are from Sea Hunter. I got to get those painted up. I'll be doing that soon. Um, so anyway, that's my office. Um, and you guys have seen the, the studio. But anyway, that's what I'm working on is this guy right here. Um, the dreads. Let me get some of those out and go through those again a little bit. These are the section dreads that I've been working on and that's what this mold is is the section dreads so I got these going on right now um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to coat them with latex or not I'm not sure that I do because um, I don't know I like the feel of them but I may try it I'm trying a few of them to see if I coat them with latex to see how they feel um, but I don't know I kind of like the feel of them right now and besides that, they've kind of got a little bit of stretch to them right now. And I know if I put that latex on there, as soon as you stretch them, that latex is probably going to pull loose. Matter of fact, I think I got one in here that I do have latex on. Let me check. Yeah, I think is this the one. Let me see here. No, that's not the one. I had one that I did put latex on just to try it out. Hmm, I might have sent that one away already. But anyway, um, like I said, I am going to be making these uh, full sets for sale here. Uh, sorry about the video today, guys. I'm in a little rush here. I got crazy stuff to do. But um, I'm kind of liking 
the gray ones for the elder type pieces. These gray ones here versus the black ones. So if you get like an elder or you know something like that, then you know you can get that get that look going. So I'm kind of liking that you know look like that. See, now I noticed if you curl these up, they kind of want to stay curled. So I've been trying to leave them you know just straight. The uh, problem is when I package them and send them, unless I get a nice straight box, you know, they're going to want to... Well, these are with a little bit harder foam, and that's what it is. If I got... I used a couple different grades of foam on it, and the harder foam wants to curl and stay curled. But, the lighter foam. So, anyway, those are the section dreads, and you guys have seen those. Um, so, that's what I'm working on there. I still want to perfect this one where it's really loose at the bottom and stiff here. Uh, like I said, I made this out of a different material. Um, it didn't really cure right. I tried coating it with something and it didn't really work. So I got to work on that one. But, and then obviously I got the ones with the spines at the end of it here too, which is kind of cool. But you guys have seen that. Another one I'm working on, you know, the spinning knife. And I'm working on that one. Just all this stuff. Uh, this is a hammer that I just completed for a client. This one's getting shipping out probably in the next day or so. Just finish that one up. So that one's going. But anyway, I'm just having a ball here, guys. I'm just having a great time doing all this. Uh, let me try to do this. Yeah, like I said, I'm just having a great time doing all this. And, you know, if you got any requests for anything, you know, just give me a shout. And anybody is more than welcome to come visit me at the studio at any point in time. Um, as long as I'm here, give me a shout first. Uh, uh, you got my email address, give me a shout if you're in the area. Stop by, we'll play, we'll mold, we'll do whatever we do, you know. I mean, it's, it's cool, you know, you guys are always welcome. Uh, this place is a blessing to me, and I just want to bless everybody else with it too. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to head back. I'm going to get myself something to eat. Doubt if I'm coming back tonight. Got to head out early in the morning. So, anyway, blessings all. All right, take it easy. Bye.